Yes, hello and welcome to another vlog from Ben Arida. Today we're testing out the Honda Ford, the 125 uh, 2021 model, brand new, the all new for the Honda for the uh, in five colors. This is uh, one of my favorite. <laughs> it's uh, the red color. There are four others available here in Spain. Uh, we have a price on the road of 5,375 euro, and it has a 125 cc engine. Uh, it has 7, uh, 10.7 kilowatts at 8,750 RPM and the uh, torque is 12.3 Newton meter at 6,500. The brakes are 256 millimeter in the front and 240 in the rear. The tire in the front is a 120 and in the rear it's a 140. Um, we have a fuel capacity of uh, 11.5 liters. Uh, the fuel consumption is 2.4 liters. Um, the seat height, I will show you later on. Uh, I'm 175 and I can tiptoe actually on it because the seat is so wide. But uh, that's very common with scooters, of course. Uh, is 780 millimeters. And the uh, weight of the scooter is 162 kilos. Um, yeah, I, I, I drove it, uh, I, I rode it here already, and it's very nice. It has a very high quality feeling, as with the other model which I test rode last year. This is a brand new model. Um, there are minor uh, uh, improvements that they made. Uh, the display is basically the same, more or less. The front they changed a little bit. Uh, although from what I can see, not very much. I mean, I wouldn't, I couldn't tell the difference. Maybe if you, uh, you know, stand them next to each other, then you would, uh, I would actually see that. I'm not sure. Um, the other difference is, of course, it has a Euro 5 compliant engine or motor now. It is very quiet. Uh, even when I do the rev, uh, the revving or whatever, <laughs> do a sound check, you basically don't hear anything. Um, <clears throat> uh, one addition to the new model year is that it has traction control now, so it has traction control and um, start stop, uh, idling stop for the city. That is very nice. You can save fuel and you're also safe with the traction control and ABS, of course. Uh, this is a very nice package, very nice scooter, Grand Turismo scooter or Maxi scooter as they call it. Uh, has a lot of uh, uh, storage space underneath the seat and I will explain the uh, control uh, controls on the handlebar and the display to you now. So on the left hand side we have uh, high beam, low beam and push to push is for um, for the passing light. Uh, then we have the, uh, we can raise the windshield or lower the windshield. Uh, apparently it is a little bit higher now than it was before. I think like three centimeters or so that you can raise it uh, more. 
Uh, then we have an info A button here. We have the horn. We have the uh, blinker switch. We have info B for the display. Uh, on the right hand side, we have the uh, uh, idling stop on off. We have hazard light and the starter. And of course, we have the throttle. We have two brakes left and rear. Uh, as I said, we have ABS and traction control. You can open the fuel here and the seat. Uh, I will explain the display and then we go back to the storage space. So here's the display, uh, left hand side are, we have the uh, uh, speedometer, on the right we have the odometer, uh, we have the clock in the middle, then we have the fuel uh, capacity, we have uh, the coolant temperature, trip A, trip B and average fuel consumption for these, then we have the total uh, the odometer, we have uh, outside air temperature and the uh, voltage of the battery and all the controls are in the down below. Uh, you can switch the display info A as you can see here, trip A, trip B and the average fuel consumption for these and the elapsed time. And we have on for info B, we can switch the odometer to range. So we have, we can write 133 kilometers with this uh, tank of gas. And the const the um, actual fuel consumption we have there as well. Uh, that's it for the display. Uh, as I said, you can turn off the traction control with this switch here. Uh, and I will explain all the cubby holes and the storage space for you now. So storage space wise we have one cubby hole on the left hand side. We can open that. This is actually lockable. So when you lock the scooter it will lock. So this is pretty nice. Uh, we have a USB. I think it's USB-C. Not 100% sure. But I think it is USB-C now. You can put your cell phone in there and you have a lot more storage space in there. You can open up the seat here. We have to switch it to seat. And I think it's still open. Yes. And the seat is enormous and huge. Uh, you can put something in there. You can almost put your skiers in there. <laughs> your skis. Uh, on the on this side you have more storage space here as you can see here you can put your gloves or whatever spare tire no just kidding <laughs> you can uh, put your documentation there so two uh, full-sized helmets will actually fit in there this is uh, really quite enormous quite huge this storage space and i do like it so that's basically it um we will have a test right now and I'll explain you a little bit about how it feels and how it rides and what the comfort is like, what the mirrors are and so on and so forth. This was the walk around, uh, so stick around. Okay, so let's get back on the road. Uh, I wanted to show you the key. This is keyless uh, go system here. So you can open uh, up the scooter and you, you don't need the key anymore in the ignition. You just need to put it in your pocket. And as soon, as long as it is like one or two meters close to the scooter, it will go. If it does not, if it is not within the range of the scooter, it will lock and the thief will not get away with your scooter, with your precious scooter. So we will turn it on here. If you've been to the seat, this is in this position, usually it is in the lock position. You, you push it and you put it in the ignition uh, position and then you can start it up. You need to have a brake. Uh, you have to have the brake with the left brake lever and then you can start it up. 
and there we go we started up already turn off the hazards let's put up the windscreen and let's go back to the dealer The first impression when you get on this scooter is of very high quality. Once again, I can only say that. And uh, yeah, that's a kind of a premium, kind of a premium thing uh, for Honda. The Forza is very high class, high quality. <laughs> I can always say that. It feels very nice. Uh, the touch of the uh, uh, plastics feels very good. Uh, I'm sure that it's uh, plastics with a long life. At least that's what they look like and feel like. The switches all feel very nice, very high quality. Uh, we will test the windscreen when we're on the auto wheel on the highway and uh, the mirrors are very nice you can see everything they're a little bit wide angled uh, a little bit uh, up front but mm, that's no problem uh, i don't think that's a problem you don't adjust them very often but still you know you can get to them if you're like as tall as me i'm 175 i weigh 80 kilos uh, sitting on this uh, scooter feels very natural, very nice. You can put the feet up to, to the front a little bit. Uh, you don't have to have the uh, toilet position here. Uh, it feels really nice, very comfortable and ergonomic. Everything just fits. Uh, the good thing about this year's model is that it has now traction control. So actually traction control is going to be kind of a standard now for 125s for 2021 and I really do appreciate that I always uh, mention that in my videos that you know that they should have but maybe it's now cheap enough that they can actually implement that in all of the scooters or at least the 125s the seat is kind of hard but it does not feel uncomfortable. You have this uh, lumbar support here in the, in the rear. You can push your butt there and it feels comfortable actually, although it feels kind of hard, but I don't know how it would feel when you go 100, 200 kilometers on it. So if you have this Forza for a longer period of time already, let me know in the comments down below what the comfort is. So. Uh, other people will know as well because I only have it for one hour or so and you know how it is you cannot really say anything uh, of that matter when it comes to you know having it for one hour and go One hundred. Okay, so we have the one hundred here. Zero to one hundred. Let's check out the windscreen. We have it now in the upper position. Let's put it in the lower position and I get all the wind in my face or on the helmet rather. So for the highway definitely you need the uh, upper position yeah kind of windy here again so let's see if we can pass these guys yeah pretty windy here I'm uh, at full maximum power now we're going up a hill Here, so we cannot test check the uh, maximum speed, although we're almost at 120 already. So, this is a pretty little powerful engine. I guess I need to go to the right now because 
we have maximum power and we're not going any further, any any faster. And maybe some people want to pass. I don't know. Yes, all in all, it makes a very, very good, leaves a very good impression. Once again, 2021 model, the all new Honda for the 125. Um, I just love it. And for people, you know, who can ride the 125 cc it is really i would highly recommend it over any other scooter <coughs> because it's very comfortable very nice of course a little bit more expensive you know but it's a maxi scooter grand turismo yeah but you have more space more space for your stuff yeah, very low fuel consumption, you know, they say 2.4 liters. I don't know if you can actually make it 2.4 liters. But uh, if you do, that's a very good value. Uh, comparing to that, my Honda NMAX, I can make about 2.2 liters if, when I'm very, very good ri riding uh, very economically. <laughs> uh, then I get 2.2 liters and 2.4 with this one here. It's, uh, it's a little bit heavier, you know, so that's pretty good value, maybe because of the Euro 5 uh, engine, or I don't know. Yes, um, I just, uh, I don't want to make a very long uh, video about this because uh, there's not much to say it's just almost almost a perfect scooter it looks nice of course that depends on your taste it has a nice color depends on your taste <laughs> and uh, for 125 it has enough power it has so much storage space and it's a pleasure to ride you can easily move it around very agile if I were in the market for 125 and maybe a little bit higher luxury scooter, I would definitely take this one here. This really feels nice. You can basically don't you basically don't hear the engine noise at all at this speed. You know, of course you have all the wind noise and stuff, but the engine uh, this year I don't know maybe it's even even more quiet or quieter than. The uh, last year's model, it's very, very quiet. You're, they're actually getting there of uh, that it's as quiet as electric scooters. <laughs> well, not quite, but you know what I mean. I think that basically uh, concludes our test ride here of the Honda Forza 125. Uh, as I said, my verdict, <coughs> very positive, very, very positive. And I can highly recommend this one, you know, if you want to spend a little bit more money for more storage space here and there underneath the seat and very high comfort and good quality uh, scooter, get this one. And, you know, as I said, it has ABS and traction control now uh, and start stop. It is really nice. So you should definitely get it. Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Get this one here. I will see about the uh, um, start stop now there we go it turns off works perfect just you know I just go and it immediately turns back on it's really really nice anyways this is my test ride thanks very much for watching this has been all right out take care bye bye